Welcome to part two of Elizabeth's amazing art collection. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here's another Ari Miller. Yeah, that one's signed. What is this one? Hmm? What's this one on the left? This, I don't know. The skull with the blood coming out of his mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look at this interesting little thing. Oh, that's... I love it. Oh, she is wonderful. And I've got some more work by her. And she's from Atlanta and a friend of mine. These are all by Rosie Clark. I love this one. I'm trying to reach your level. He's digging down. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see that now. Okay, that's so funny. And this is Q-Pig. Q-Pig, love it. Let's go into this bathroom, which is, whoa, look at this. All so right. interesting. Now this, oh, here he is on, here's another one on the phone. Yeah, that's Martin Luther. Martin Luther on the phone. That's so funny. And I had this made and I'm taking it. Um, this was made by Michael Gilmartin, and I had him sign it because he has works in the High Museum and the Brooklyn Museum and everything. And I didn't know him at the time, you know, that yeah. he did it and oh, then we wow. got to be friends. Love that. And he's dead too now. Okay. This mirror came from the old Metropolitan Opera House. It's fantastic. York. Oh my gosh, that's a treasure. And then I painted the curtain. You, uh-uh, Elizabeth. Yep, yeah, to go with the... Uh, look at this, and a gilded ceiling. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I'm taking this with me. Good. <laughs> and see, I did, I just did a little bit of some of the... And she painted some of the linen hand towels too. Of right. she did. <laughs> and then there's a little bowl for the used ones. Tell me about this. Oh, this is, uh, oh, Red Grooms and his wife, Mimi Gross, whose father was Cham Gross, who was a famous artist. I love it. And Red Groom, that's, that's Lucy, a mother that has the, the, the heads, the three heads. In the oh! Room. That's very pretty. I like a nude in the bathroom. This, oh my goodness, this looks like an this. African warrior. Well, this, this is about, he's an Atlanta artist and he does a lot of work. Now, and I, I had this we, window yeah. made. Oh, uh, we've talked about this before and I <laughs> love it. Uh, it's a, look at that, it's a spider web. And look at the spider has a spider. Can you see that? And this is the <gasps> lady who made it. Oh my gosh. Right there. there is her signature. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this little guy here? Oh, that's this this piece up. This is more like the pieces he's done. Oh, the colorful jester? Yeah. He's great. That people would recognize that as his work immediately. Well, then let's go over and look at his other one. That's, <laughs> yeah, so it does look similar. It's just one's very colorful and the other is not. Okay. All right. So this is a, um, this is a Dale Chihuly. It's beautiful. So glad you have it encased because it's very breakable. These are two. <laughs> this is like a woman saying, stop drinking to her husband. Uh -huh. the, the work out in the, oh, over the, the wolf. With the two faces. Oh, yes. Over. Okay. And what about this one? This Pat Ellinger did that. Oh, it's so cute. And what about this little, is it a monkey up there? It is, and I have no idea who did it. It's pretty, though. All right, let's move into the dining room. But, of course, as we walk in there, there's some more fabulous artwork to look at. Uh, um, oh, Maddie Lou O'Kelly. O'Kelly. Uh-huh. Okay. Maddie Lou. Maddie Lou. Love yeah, that name. She's 
pretty famous. And this this guy, this is this guy's got a little plaque. This painting. Yeah. So now we are in the dining room, and she's taken some pieces away, uh, but we will focus on what's here. I got that from Faye Gold. I just love that. I love it. It looks like with the black walls that it's just a pair on the wall. No, it's not going to show up as well. No, but it looks great. It looks like there's just a pair on the wall, and I do love pairs. Okay, let's look at this sculpture. He's pretty magnificent. All right, I'm gonna just get the whole bit of him in. Wow. Now tell me about this gal. She's wearing a tiara, love that. That is by Carolyn Carr. I love that they're artists that, that are married. Carolyn and they, they just live this artistic life. And what about this? Painting? Well, this was at the Swan Coach House sale, mm -hmm. and no one bought it. And uh, my husband at the time was in New York, and there was the same artist for a lot of money. <laughs> there, uh, smart. He said, go buy it, go buy you, it. You've got and an so eye, Elizabeth. It, and it hung out of the rear of my car, you know, I couldn't even Bringing it home, uh -huh. I'd love that. And just another thing I love are the gilt cornices, love them. And so here's a more traditional painting. That was given to me by a friend about 60 years ago. It's beautiful. And look at this arrangement she has here. Are these made out of wood? What are they? Hmm? What are these made out of? Uh, gourds. Oh, they're real gourds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're real gourds. <laughs> okay, then. Just painted. Love, what a great idea. They sort of look a little bit um, um, tortoise. Tiny bit. Okay, and back to the living room. And this was not started, but I just buy things, and all of a sudden I realized I had a, a lot of Madonna and children. See, so you put them together. I do that too. It's sort of accidental, and then you all of a sudden you have a collection. And I love that they're all different artistic styles. And when I move, there's another one in there that I can add to it it's to, because I'll have higher ceilings. Fantastic. Tell me about these ladies. Uh, that is somebody here in Atlanta, well, over in Decatur. Mm -hmm. And I just think she does wonderful work. They're darling. Love them. Love them. And what about this painting? Oh, that's by a famous Russian artist. Berlug? Berlug? David Berlug. That's, I love this painting. And love this little silver. We'll have to do your silver at some point too. She has collections that are amazing. All right, why don't we go upstairs? Let's go this way. All right. So there's so much to look at just in this stairway. This is all about Cotton and her family history. So tell, tell, tell us about this. this uh, well. well, this all has to do with Cotton. I grew up on a Cotton farm, and there I am picking Cotton. I still have that little Cotton sack, which is just... Oh, my gosh. It looks like a rag. You need to hang it next to it in your new house. Uh, do you know who did these paint? These uh, they look like drawings. Some of them I do. All right, we'll get the names of. But look at this collection. Oh my goodness, just the history. And look at this needlepoint cotton. And there's another needlepoint cotton here. Do 
you know him? That's Uncle Sam. We always, uh, you know, I lived on a farm and he uh, sort of ran it in a way. And if somebody wasn't taking care of me, he fired him. Oh, I love that. He, he was like your second father. They shipped first bail. Okay, this is gonna have to be a whole story unto itself because there's so much. Now, Elizabeth, can you tell me about, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up here first to look at this quilt. Well, this quilt was in uh, my first husband's family and no one knew what to do with it because it's silk, so it's oh, up yeah. too fragile. And believe it or not, I found that frame at a garage sale. No way, only you, Elizabeth. <laughs> And so uh, I just put plastic over it. It needs to be framed better, but I just... Just put plexiglass on it. I, ne it I need to as, get some plexiglass. It won't be as heavy. It's so interesting that it's made of silk, though. My grandmother made a lot of quilts, but they were always cotton. Yeah. And so therefore, you know, you can't really, you know, it's you can't just use too fragile. It. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's perfect right here. It's kind of the era of the cotton farm. Okay, tell me about this Penley. So I'm hoping to do a video with Steve Penley, who is a famous artist who is based here in Atlanta. So do you remember how old you were when you had that done? Oh, no, but oh, it had to be 20 or 30 years ago. He, uh, Steve, well, I didn't know who he was, but uh, Lurton Massey was a partner at King and & Spalding, and he and someone had gotten Steve to paint the portraits of the partners at King and & Spalding. And I saw Lurton's in his home, and I asked about it, and I called Steve Penley the next day, and Steve later told me he barely had enough gas to get to the house. I mean, he was <laughs> just starting out and everything, and he was so, so much fun. Oh, he will be thrilled to see this. I just love it. Wow. And tell me the, about the painting below it. That is uh, from Faye Gold's Gallery. Oh, um, I'm just going to take a quick uh, film of this because this is, again, this is a very interesting story um, about, were you living in New York? Or where were you living? Before I moved here. Yeah. In the... Uh, uh, late 60s. So as a preview, this is a picture of her daughter Devereaux on the left. Devereaux went to high school with my little brother. They're the same age. And that's Brooke Shields on the right. And so Devereaux was used as a model um, in Harper's Bazaar sometimes. And she would have been used more if they hadn't moved away. That's so fun. So I'll do a little bit more on that another time. And while we're talking about magazines, Elizabeth's house was featured in Bedroom and Bath and also featured in Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles. Tell us about this party because it says a party to die for. So tell us, Elizabeth, about that party. Well, you had to come dressed to kill and the drinks were like Bloody Marys or Name Your Poison and the food was like uh, black and blue berries on pound cake with whipped cream. Whipped. All, you know, all things, artichokes, um, you know, just a beaten biscuit. <laughs> if you started thinking about a lot of food, we didn't make up a name. It had to already have a name uh, that was, you know, uh, like whip. to die I mean, for. <laughs> yeah. It had to already be a famous saying or a famous food or something. It's like so that. clever. So clever. Wish I'd been at that party. <laughs> okay. I know you. I know. All right, let's look at this fabulous bathroom. A lot of the rooms are empty now because she's already moved into her new place, which when it gets settled, we will definitely see all of her <laughs> fabulous artwork in there. But this was done. A long time ago, and it's still so spectacular. I can, there's a lot of mirrors, it's and we're trying not to 61. get in it. This yeah. was done in 61. Look at, it's like, is, are these, these are just painted silver, right? What? 
Is this paint? No, this no, is, this is okay. So this is all stainless steel, and this these are mirrored windows. Look at this. So you could just close this off and have a mirror, and this is a stainless steel shower which I predict is going to be the new rage <laughs> after having it for 20 something oh years. my gosh and you I mean, you don't even have to clean it I mean you do have to clean it but I mean it doesn't spot like glass does that's why I did it it's so <laughs> clever and the ceiling is stainless everything is stainless or granite basically the floor is all it's all granite granite and you know, this is stainless and granite. And uh, I, I have, uh, because I don't like stuff out on the counters, and but you have to have somewhere to put them. I'm so right. I don't know why people don't have a hidden, not it's particularly he hidden. But. It's hidden. I mean, this is like the cleanest bathroom because every, and you don't, <laughs> you can't tell it's here, just it's like a window. And see, this is how picky I am. See this curve? Yes. I had to search to find. Look. <laughs> Don't you love it? I mean, really, this is, you know, the details. This is why my channel is called Bluing House. It's about details. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh. You know, people don't notice that, but it makes me happy. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> and I get it. I so get it. Yeah. And see, I have to have, like, if this, this is, this bathroom is this color, but this room is that color, so we have to have... Yes, absolutely. You have to have <laughs> the right color when the door is shut. Right. Fantastic. Is this an ironing and board? I found every oh. bit of space. You know, my grandmother did this. She had really narrow cabinets, which was just brilliant for a bathroom, <laughs> because you can't go deep with all this little stuff. Do not open. Oops. So, all right. And, and what is this? That's that's where you keep the electric things. Oh, look at so, that. Yeah. Well, I've moved some of the stuff. Yeah, but, but still, you would never know. I that's, your hair dryer. And everything. Yeah, a girl oh, after my own heart yeah. with the plugs in there. Yeah. Extra <laughs> plugs. Love it. So. Love, love, love it. All right, so. Basically, the best. Yeah, let's go down to the kitchen. Okay, now we're going to go into the kitchen. Oh, I forgot. I know, and these doors, these used to have the most spectacular iron artwork on them, which we'll see oh. in her new house because she's already had them removed. Here's the laundry room. Oh, there's some interesting things in here. Is there anything you can tell us about? What? Any artwork in here you want to tell us about? Uh... Very oh, not particularly, but this is uh, okay. uh, Nellie May There's Mae another Rowe. Nellie May. They just had Nellie May Rowe. A show at the High Museum. Wow. And this is interesting. So. Okay, now this is one of my very favorite things. Look at this. Huh. Tell me about this painting and how you had it hung and how you thought to have it hung. It's just so amazing to me. Well, I have uh, a friend who hangs art, and uh, he had just bought a big truck, <laughs> so he moved it for me, and I had I had bought him at an auction for so many hours of work, <laughs> and so. Uh, but what he was a smart one who did it. What he did, he he put two by fours on the wall and then screwed the sides into it. Fantastic. You know, put, so it's, it's, it's very secure. It's very secure. So art, art movers are gonna have to come move that. Wow. And what about this lady up here? Yeah, that is, um, it's Helen D Durant, I believe. Helen Durant. I know it's Helen. <laughs> and then there's so many interesting things here. Look at this. Tell me about this. I love well, this. I got that at uh, the. Uh, yeah. It's interesting how this was framed because it's just, um, it's just like painted. What? It's just painted board that it's on. I but love that. That is heavy as can it be. It looks Those heavy. Yeah, it, it's so, so interesting. Heavy. And then you have this Abercrombie and Fitch. Rhinoceros, 
And you have a couple more of these, don't you? I do. Are they at your house? They have been played with. They, well, of course they have. I love that. And let's see, what else do we want to focus oh. on in here? Now, I, this um, in the center, this oh, piece wow. I had made for the symphony ball. You had and, this made? Uh-huh. For the symphony ball? They were the centerpieces. And you'll How see many them did you around have at made? flower oh, shows. Oh, my gosh. And, did you commission uh, that? You see, commissioned? Nice How many did you have made? Is you can put... You know, just some things. People can see across the table. Mm -hmm. You can put, we had moss and things around the bottom. So clever. And then you can put flowers, but it doesn't have to be as many flowers as you could put in other things. Right. To get a big show. How many did you have made? How many? Yes. Probably 20 or so, and then I sold them. Oh, I wondered. Okay. They're yeah. fantastic. I, I, I bought several myself. Where are they? In the attic. Okay, so if I see one at a yard sale, I'm snagging it. another thing. <laughs> okay, if you want to sell one, I want one. <laughs> because Look, uh, I, I hope my children will take one because you can put them, say if you're having a party, you mm -hmm. can put just greenery in them and put them out by the door. Yeah, it's, outside they're, by they're, the door they're spectacular. They're festive. Yeah. Yeah, if your children don't want them, I'll buy. I'll buy two. For and what me. I do for Christmas, I hang the ornaments off. Oh, these. I love that. So I don't have to have a tree, but I have, get to keep the ornaments. So wonderful. Well, and so I had this. Made. Oh yes, yes, this is so the interesting. Beach. So who would have thought? Let's turn the light on here. To have this little niche made. In her and cabinets. I, I Where's didn't the have light it switch? Made for art, but um, she didn't have this made for art. But it's again stainless steel on the inside with a light, and she was going to use flowers in there originally, yeah, and then she flowers. found this piece of art that just fit perfectly. It did. <laughs> it really did. And I just bought it enough for no, you know, reason. I mean, I just like. Yeah. It. So let me just walk further out so I can, you can see it from the other side. So here are just the cabinets, and then again up here is this piece of art on a slanted wall, and there is the other piece of artwork. So clever. Elizabeth, you are a genius. You have just so many interesting pieces of art, even this. I, I mean, there's more. We, we, I could go on for days. And see, the same person who I can't, she's here in town and she teaches that she did that, and that little boat you like. Oh, the little boat on the wall, yes. Yeah. And this, she did this too. And she did this, wow. Well, I can't wait till you get settled in your house and see where <laughs> you've put everything. Look at this, did this come on it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me take this little guy off. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's hilarious. A nutcracker. Oh, that's a nut. Of course, it is. <laughs> it's a nutcracker. Cracker. <laughs> oh my gosh, fantastic! <laughs> well, all right. At that, I'm going to conclude this house tour. But I can't wait for the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more. And until next time, be sweet. <laughs>